All right, you guys, so today I am finally doing my makeup collection tour for you guys. So many of you guys have requested this um, to just see the makeup that I have. Just a disclaimer, I am not trying to brag about it or anything like that. Keep in mind that I do, you know, do this for a living, so I do collect makeup as well. So I have a ton of makeup. I also get a lot of makeup sent to me. Um, but a lot of this stuff, actually the large majority of it, I do buy with my own money as well just because I do love makeup. So I would say that I probably have more than the average person, but um, yeah, it's just kind of like my hobby and something that I love to collect and I am in no means trying to show off or anything like that. But you know, you guys hopefully already know that about me. Um, um, but yeah, so let's just go ahead and go in and see everything. So first I just kind of wanted to give you guys an overview of my desk. I'll back up so you can see like the actual desk. I've done a whole beauty room tour, so I'll link that down below if you're more interested in like the furniture and stuff. Um, I will put that video down below. But this is like my workstation on a daily basis um, where I keep all of my makeup that are like my essential <laughs> products, which some of you are probably like, oh my god, you're nuts. That's a lot of essentials um, for a day-to-day -day basis. But yeah, this is where I keep like all of my essential daily products that I use on a daily basis. Obviously, I don't use all of them every day, but I change out my makeup a lot. So the desk is where I keep like all of my essentials, and then I'll move over here and show you guys this big Alex 9 drawer thing, which I got at Ikea, is where I keep kind of more um, makeup and stuff for like storage. So first we'll go through everything that I have in my desk that I use all the time, and then we'll get more into the storage and the stuff um, and the drawers that I have over there. All right, so I'll start all the way in the far corner of my desk. This is where I keep all of like my brush essentials and tools and things that I use all the time. So right here I have my beauty blenders. I just keep them in the original little thing they came in. I did get a dual um, beauty blender, so it did come in like one of these bigger cylinders. So this is just where I store them. So I have all of my beauty blenders in there. They all need to be cleaned like literally ASAP. But I just keep that right there. And then here I just have these really pretty brush cylinders from Mojo Beauty. They're nice black leather. And this is where I keep all of my essential brushes. So in here I have like all face brushes that I use all the time. You know, powder, contour, foundation, everything like that. And then in this one I have all of my eye brushes in there. So these are just kind of the brushes that I use all the time. Most of them are Mojo Beauty, a few MAC and It Cosmetics in there as well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where my daily brushes live, right here, so I always have them accessible. And then you guys will see all along the bottom here, I just keep all of my daily like lip products, my lip favorites that I do have. I keep them in these nice little organizers. These are from buyallegory.com. I'll link everything down below that I can find, but they're nice acrylic organizers. So I have two um, organizers filled with lip glosses and then one with my favorite lipstick. So I'll go ahead and pull them out and just show you guys what is in them. So this first one is just filled with all of my Gerard Cosmetics lippies. I love these. These are their lighted lip glosses. So I kind of have them just organized by color. I have the lightest color and then as you go back, I have more brighter colors like so and then darker ones all the way in the back back there so that is where those all stay then in this lip gloss organizer I just have a bunch of different like random assorted brands we have some from the bomb right up here then I have like a random Mac lip gloss this is one of my favorites this is Max patience please then I also love this one this is from soap and glory back here I have a bunch of the Tarte little lip surgeons, lip tints, and lip glosses. I keep those right in that back row back there. But yeah, this is just kind of a random assortment of lip products that I do love. Then back here, I have my lipstick organizer again from By Allegory. So I just have all of my MAC lipsticks, and I have two back there, and then all of my Gerard lipsticks. I just keep these right here so they're readily accessible. They are my favorite lip products and the ones that I use most often. So I like to just keep them right there so I always have them. Then right over here I have a few other essentials. So I have Max Fix Plus. You guys know that I love that. I have the Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray as well as their primer spray, a little e.l.f. daily brush cleanser, and some wet wipes to clean down my work area. Alright guys, so now for the top part of my desk and everything that I have up here. I have um, these acrylic drawers on both sides of this big thing in the middle. I got these from 
Amazon. I will link them down below if I can find them. Then on either side, I also have these organizers here. These are compact organizers. Again, they are from buyallegory.com, so I will link them as well. They're just clear acrylic. And then in the middle, I have this beautiful thing. This is the original beauty box, and I absolutely love it. It is a recent um, addition to my makeup collection. I just love how it looks and how it stores my makeup. So now we'll just go through drawer by drawer and show you guys what I have. Okay, so first we'll start on the top drawer, which I have all of my favorite lip products in. So I will pull this out. What's the nice thing is that you can actually pull the drawers out so I can show you guys. So this has all of my favorite liquid lipsticks in them. I have been obsessed with liquid lipsticks recently. Actually, besides these, these are from Butter London. These are just um, like lip pencils, but all of these are liquid lipsticks. So here I have a bunch from Ofra, um, some from Tarte, two NARS ones. These again are also from Ofra, and then I have an Anastasia Beverly Hills and Gerard Cosmetics all in there. So I love, love, love liquid lipsticks, so that's why I had to give them their own little drawer. Then the next drawer that I have in here, I have powders and BB and CC creams in here. So I have NYX HD powder, um, Rimmel Stay Matte. It Cosmetics, one from Stilla, Too Faced, more It Cosmetics, and just a random little Stilla brush that I use with that product. Then over here for BB and CC creams, I just have these It Cosmetics CC Plus. I love these, the Garnier BB cream, which is my favorite BB cream. Uh, a MAC tint and moisturizer, and then some more random BB creams in the back. And I actually keep these in here too. These are LA Girl Pro Conceals, but these are like obviously much darker than my skin tone. I like to um, contour with them when I want to contour with like cream products. So I keep those back in there as well. Then we have an eye drawer, and this has all of my eyeliners and mascaras in it. So I love this drawer. So here I just have like literally so many eyeliners. Um, I just kind of throw them all in here. I have such random ones. Like here's like a random glitter one, um, a bunch of the jumbo pencils that I have, um, and just all my eyeliners are in there. And then I do have like a random little MAC palette in the back here and like some small like eyeshadow palettes. There's a Bobbi Brown one um, and then a little sharpener. Then over here I have all of my mascaras that I use like all the time that I love, my favorite ones. So I have like some Tarte, Maybelline, this one which I love, oh my god, the CoverGirl Super Sizer. I love this one. This is a really, really good mascara. Um, and just like some random ones that I got from beauty boxes and stuff like that. This is just where all of my mascaras go. Then I have primers and concealers. I have all of my concealers in this one side. I just have like a random MAC one. I have some concealer quads like Sonia Kashuk. And then I have um, some Ofra concealer quads underneath. And then over here I just have like LA Girl Pro Conceal, MAC Pro Longwear, Maybelline Fit Me. And just a bunch of like random concealers and then on here I keep most of my primers so here I have some of the Smashbox primers Professional Baby Skin Laura Mercier another Professional Too Faced um, Hangover X which I love the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur um, yeah, so just a bunch of primers and concealers. And then for my favorite drawer, my foundation drawer, since you guys know I'm like a foundation junkie, I love this drawer. So on this side, I like to keep my high-end foundation. So I have like two MACs, um, Laura Mercier, Tarte, Estee Lauder, two Makeup Forevers, and some Kat Von D. And then over here, I keep more drugstore ones. You guys can tell I'm a fan of CoverGirl um, foundations. I have their Outlast um, Stay Fabulous 3-in-1, one, one of their Stay Luminous, um, a L'Oreal Magic Nude. This is a L'Oreal True Match. Underneath there, I think there's another CoverGirl, yeah. CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous, and then some Bare Minerals foundations as well. So that is kind of my essential foundation drawer. Then I'll show you guys what is in these compact organizers that I have up here. So let me just scoot it around. This one has kind of my favorite bronzers in it. So I have Betty Luminizer by The Bomb, Bronze by Model Co. Um, this one is from DZ Cosmetics. Then I have a Betty Luminizer, which I love. Um, MAC Soft and Gentle, another highlighter that I love, and then I have the Gerard Cosmetics Star Powders, um, all three of them behind there on this one. So I just kind of keep it like that so they're easy to access. 
Then on the other side, I keep blushes that I love in this one. So I have three little MAC blushes up front here, my favorite ones, and I have three from Tarte and then two in the back here from The Bomb. So these are kind of my most used blushes. They're pretty much all like dusty pinks because that's what I go for. Now we can move on to what's actually in these little acrylic drawers that I have. Again, I got these off of Amazon and these also will come all the way out so it's easy to show you guys. These drawers are a lot less organized so beware. Um, but this top drawer, I just kind of have my lip liners in. I really don't have that much. I hope to get more lip liners soon. Um, I definitely am in need of them. So, yeah, I don't have that many lip liners. And then um, this drawer, I kind of keep luminizing products like liquid luminizers. So I have a Becca, Max Strobe Cream, Gerard BB Plus. Um, I have a random baby lips in here that shouldn't be in there. And then I do have some eye primers as well. Like that's the Too Faced Eyelid Primer. Um, one from Ofra, DZ Cosmetics. So yeah, that's kind of like a random drawer, but it's pretty much eye primers and illuminizing face products. This drawer is very unorganized, so I do apologize, but this is my eyebrow drawer, so I just have a bunch of random eyebrow products. Like here I have my tweezers, which are in here, Brow Bar to Go, It Cosmetics, um, Anastasia Dip Brow, uh, Gimme Brow by Benefit. I have two of those. I have my Anastasia Brow Wiz White in front because that's my favorite. Um, an Ofra kind of universal eyebrow pencil, e.l.f. eyebrow kit, so just a bunch of like random brow products are kept there. Then over on the other side, this top drawer, I have all eyeshadows that I have not depotted um, that I have kept like in the actual packaging. So there's a bunch of these Milani little Bella eyeshadows, I think these are called. So I have those, um, some DVC Cosmetics pigments. What are these? Oh, these are the color tattoos from Maybelline. I used to love those. Um, so I have that and yeah, just like some random pigments and stuff in the back. The next drawer is liquid liners, like gel liners. So I have all of the new Tarte gel liners. Then I have a bunch of the Makeup Geek gel liners, ColourPop eyeshadows that just didn't fit into the other um, drawer that I was showing you. And then these are all Makeup Geek pigments that I keep back in there. And then these are just Maybelline gel liners. And I do have this brush here too. This is from um, Tarte, which is great for applying the gel liners with. And then last but not least, I just have one more lippy drawer. You guys can tell I'm obsessed with lippies. Um, so these are just kind of some lippies that didn't make it into the liquid lipstick drawer or the other ones for whatever reason. They're kind of just random brands and stuff. I have like one Tarte one. This is one from Soap and Glory. Um, one of the Color Reach Bombs. Uh, some NYX, just kind of like random lippies that I do still really like. Then my desk does have this little pull-out thing underneath that you're supposed to put a keyboard in, but I put all of my favorite palettes in here. So over here I just have like a MAC palette that I created myself, a Z palette with all of my favorite Makeup Geek shadows in it, um, a palette from The Bomb over there. Then I have The Bomb Nude Dude, which I love. This is like my new obsession palette. Um, Lorac Pro, It Cosmetics, Naturally Pretty, both of the Too Faced um, chocolate bar palettes. I have the Semi Sweet and the Original. Then all of my Urban Decay palettes, I have Urban Day Decay Naked Basics and then Naked 1, 2, and 3 under there. And then in the side here, I have all of my contour kits. So Anastasia Contour Kit, Aesthetica, I believe Cosmetics Contour Kit. It Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Palette and an Ofra Cosmetics um, Contouring Kit. So I keep all of those down there, kind of like my favorite palettes. That is where they live. So yeah, that is everything that I keep in all of these drawers, um, kind of like my essentials and my favorite products. But now we will make our way over here to the Alex 9 drawer, which is where I store kind of the rest of my products. All right, you guys, so up here right on top, I just kind of keep my favorite perfumes in this little like thing that I painted myself. It's definitely nothing nice. I just have like, you know, Britney Spears, Michael Kors. Um, I think this is Flower Bomb. Juicy, a bunch of my Scentbird ones that I was sent. Um, the perfume that I did create myself right here. So if you guys didn't watch my favorites video where I talked about that, I'll link it down below. But yeah, I just keep my favorite perfumes right up here on top of my Alex 9 drawers. So um, up here, the first drawer, I actually cannot show you guys. It is 
top secret. I actually store all of the products that I'm going to be giving you guys away in my um, 50k giveaway. So I have a lot of products. This drawer is literally like packed full with products for you guys. So I don't want to show you because that'll give away the surprise when I do announce the 50k giveaway once I hit 50k. So that's what I keep in the top drawer there. You guys get the top spot. Um, for your products. So yeah, I'm not going to be showing you guys that drawer, but on to the second drawer. Alright, so in the second drawer, I keep just these little containers. I got these at like the food store, I think. Like, they're just very random. You can find them a lot of places, but um, I just keep kind of random setting sprays. So like here I have L'Oreal, um, one from Victoria's Secret, a couple Scandinavia, Elf, and NYX. And then in the back, I just kind of have extra little storage trays. So this drawer is just kind of like a random storagey drawer. Not very exciting. Now for this drawer, I just have a bunch of random like highlighters, blushes, bronzers, everything like that. So like here I have Ben Nye banana powder, I have some Ofra um, like little shimmer quad things I think they call them. Here's like a random benefit blush. I have some Tarte, um, Milani, Bobbi Brown, NYX, and then over here I just have like some random um, highlighters and powders and stuff. So this is like It Cosmetics Ombre Blush, something from Ofra, L'Oreal, um, this Master Highlight from Maybelline, this is from The Bomb, I think this is actually a blush, but yeah, so I just have like random blushes and bronzers, and then all the way in the back I have like NYX's bronzer, um, I have like a MAC Studio Fix powder, like this is just kind of a random powder products drawer, that's kind of like all that's kept in here. Then one of my favorite drawers, this is my lippy drawer, so I have like a little additional um, lipstick holder from By Allegory up there, and then I have um, some Gerard and Milani lipsticks and also Wet n Wild lipsticks right in here. These are in an organizer. Um, on the side here I have like some random Gerard um, like lighted lip glosses over there, like some extras that I have or like dual colors. And then in here I just have a bunch of random lipsticks and lip glosses, like really, really random. Um, like here is from Crown. Um, this is a NYX. I have some lip glosses. Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush. There's just so many of them, like I don't really know how to organize them, so I kind of just keep them all in there. This drawer is just comprised of a bunch of face brushes that I do not use on a daily basis. And then in the back there I have some contacts, like colored contacts and things that I have. And then on the sides here I just have two little brush cleansers. I like to use the well cared for from Bare Minerals. So I have two of those on the sides here. So this is just kind of like a random brush drawer. This drawer is just a bunch of the palettes that I do not use on a daily basis. So I have like some Morphe palettes here, um, Coastal Scents. Back there I actually have a ton of the big Coastal Scents and BH Cosmetics palettes, like the kind that come with a billion different colors. Um, so whenever I want to do like a crazy look, I'll always go for those palettes because they're very inexpensive and a lot of them come with like a hundred eyeshadows that are all like crazy colors and stuff. Um, I have a little palette from Meryl Norman there. Um, and then like some products on the side here that I do want to try. So like I have these Vita Liberata little mineral bronzers, so I keep them in there um, so that I can try them out. But yeah, it's just kind of like a random palette and the products that I want to try out drawer. This next drawer I have a bunch of teeth whitening products and pens and things like that. Not really a fun drawer. And then I have like some random little flash tattoos and things like that. This last drawer, I just have a bunch of nail products in. I really don't have that many nail polishes or like products because I most of the time get my nails done, but in case I ever want to give myself like a pedicure or something like that, I keep them all in this drawer. And that last drawer that I have all the way at the bottom is actually empty. There's nothing in there just yet, um, so I can fill that with new products as I get them and stuff like that. All right, you guys, so that is my completed makeup collection. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below. It would mean so, so much to me. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in my next video.